Welcome back to Ooh. Resident Legacy. Eagle. Hilltop lookout! We're in the hilltop zone! What's wrong, Boros? What happened? Let's see. See what's wrong with the fishermen! Oh shit! Mario? Sir, are you okay? What war? Where did Mario go? What did he do? Guilty. Not water. The girl, she was walking on water. Oh what? my god, she's Jesus! I, I, I beg your pardon? <laughs> Professor, we've stumbled across... We've stumbled across Tell Christ me. himself! Tell straight across the surface, from the shore to the middle of the lake. So, we've stumbled uh, upon the the second coming. Yes. And, and, and you've reincarnated as a little girl. Okay, then. I mean, come on. Weirder things have happened. Don't be so quick to dismiss this, Luke. One moment. Here now. Look down where I'm standing. And remember, hey, hey Luke, did you know yeah, it's look. possible to walk? Did you know, Luke, it was possible to walk on custard? Oh, on. Oh. What? How are you doing that, Professor? Lytton is demonstrating something now. I, Jesus. With a puzzle. Yes. Allow me to Why? demonstrate with a puzzle. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh, puzzle number 17, walking on That's water. That's bad luck. Are you Jesus? No puzzle. Gone. Problem. Upon examining the surface of the lake more closely, I discovered some floating ice shells thick enough to stand on. While the girl appeared to be walking on water, she was merely stepping across the ice. Stepping on an ice shelf sets it in motion, and it keeps moving until it bumps into something or reaches the shore. Use the floating ice shelves on the small islands of the lake to your advantage. Help me catch up to the... Wait, that sounds wrong. You know, Help me catch here... the... Uh, <laughs> Hey, Joe! Stop what? walking away on water and from here us! I was thinking the lake was actually made by non-Newtonian fluid. Yeah. The this also gives uh, uh, this also thing. This also g uh, gives the game a chance to use the the eight bit sprites of uh, the care of the characters. Like, cause uh, one of the things that I've always loved in the three D Layton games is how every time you go into the um, Every time you look at the bottom left corner of the screen, you see all the characters who are currently in your party in the form of a, of a tiny sprite. Um, and yeah, sometimes they even use those for the puzzles, and I love that. That is cute how your position changes based off of where you are in the top screen. It has different backgrounds yeah. set for when you're closer or further away. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing, I mean, considering New World of Steam is going to be running on the Ninokuni engine, I really, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of, um, like, what they do visually in terms of the puzzles compared to what they Especially would do. Especially since the puzzles are made by a different team altogether. Well, not just, not just that, too. Like, in terms of the graphical design of the puzzles themselves. Like, if, the, if, yeah. if they're doing this on the 3DS, imagine what they can do with the Nino Kuni engine. Well, it's also the fact that, you know, the Switch doesn't have a dual screen anyway, so mm -hmm. they have to work with that uh... as well. I'll admit, I get why it doesn't, but man, I miss the dual screen when playing Ace Attorney games on the Switch or PC now. Uh, pl I don't know, playing it on, um, I think, I think at this point I might as well switch playing Ace there Attorney to, P to PlayStation. Yeah, I'll, I'll argue playing Ace Attorney feels right on PC, because, you know, it kind of works like a put and click. I do say so myself. Oh, yeah, and you know, hey, it... Playing it on Switch, yeah. of course, makes sense. Well, that's why I, the that's why I pre-ordered Ghost Trick on Steam, because that game is perfect for mouse control. It's just, I really miss the dual screen. The dual screen was such a great way to play Ace Attorney games. Sure. There's a lot of it to do with just the familiarity of it as well. Like, it and definitely uh, worked, but there's nothing Jesus, wrong with what they teach do. me your ways. The best thing sure there you go, is see? that the top screen was not as clear yeah, when you look at, as it would be. Yeah, when you look at Aurora's eyes, you can you, I can see why the people of COD would say that, huh, she didn't exactly look like one of you a lot. <laughs> is that... God, so... no. How convenient yes. that there was a fairy and Azron ruined just in the middle of his lake. We found Atlantis! It was here all along. It's much smaller than from what I've read. Alright. It's outside. So let's see. What? Who would have thought there'd be something like this hidden under the lake? I mean, I know we've come across a lake that had a flipping dinosaur in it, but this is just taking the cake. <laughs> hmm. 
I can't see the girl. Where's she gone? She was right in yeah. front of you. How Abby, did you miss her? And now Abby. she's gone. <laughs> Abby, how, how, how did you fuck that up? I mean, we may have to talk about hand-eye coordination. Do you think she slipped off this walkway? She's oh, like so Luke can't see her either. No, 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 I see. No, no, I know, I see what happened. Hi, no, no. Everyone. no, guys. I'm a child, so I couldn't <laughs> see beyond you lot in front of me. Excuses. Hold on, no, no. over there. Is that a passage leading into the room? No, I, I got it, guys. I got it. Here's what happened. Uh, both Luke and Amy found a penny on the ground, and they were fighting for it, and that's how they lost track the of the girl. Got it. My hand coin. Come along. We don't want to lose her again. Uh, uh, Annie was all like, "No, they let me." They nothing, nothing. You were the one who dropped her. And it's Professor Luke, not Layton. Uh, uh, Professor, you were the one who dropped her. Like yes. Luke and Emmy uh, were all like, "My hand coin, no, my hand coin." Oh, look, a hint point, point in the water. The waterfall. Careful, go there, Professor. Luke, Emmy was supposed to be. We're supposed to be finding whoever. The girl you lost? I, I, I lost? You two were busy looking for fucking hit coins. Again, you were the one who dropped her in the first place. Later, what's your fucking language? Like Secondly, like you were the one carrying her. You look surprising. No, I wasn't. Rusty. Well, if it's any consolation, Lynn, Luke and Emmy aren't fighting each other now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 they'll be fighting each other soon for their jobs. Right, Jesus, don't go all Heath Ledger Joker on us. Oh, so so it'd be like oh, um so a portal from So let let oh, let them go and fall Joker would be probably like um little Karibos Bakura. Why so British? Good grief. I never would have imagined this. I think these ruins are responding yeah, to the they, girl. Yeah, they so they too must be Asron Ruins, yes. Inspired. We should watch out for Pillarmen. Asrin, yes. No doubt about it. Hey, I was gonna say that! But don't you see, we're finishing each other's well, sentences. Professor, we're not doing the, the the finders keepers when it comes to naming uh, discoveries. Uh, yeah. Tradition. Hey, it's my last game for now. I can do what I want. Wow, so your theory was correct, Professor Sycamore. Indeed it was. <laughs> Such a suck up. <laughs> well, a bad you weren't offering professor. any suggestions. I was going to, but I was interrupted. You stopped talking. Because he interrupted me. See, this is why I'm not in the show past this. Go on. It would seem so. An ancient Azran structure with a powerful magnetic field that disrupts magnetics and electronics. Of course. As is just an unfortunate side effect, I would really like to know what the true purpose of this place so is. So you see, Jova, it's like the place in um, Mission to Mars, uh, where he just responded badly to a frequency that was sent to it. Uh. Professor, I see her! Dead ahead! There we go. <laughs> I don't remember the song Oh my god, song it is then. Atlantis! This is very common in ancient uh, Again, civilization fiction. For Atlantis, Basically, so. yeah. How on earth did you do that? Because, That's Professor, a mystery that you could not solve by saying it was machines. Aurora. I see. Aurora Borealis. Time has come. To be passed on. Uh, really? Our this time of day, in this part of the world, hey, that's part of the title of the movie. Yes. And your motives are okay, pure. sorry. Oh, cool, we passed the test. Wait, what test? This dome will show you the way. Can the motives appear? All Find of our motives appear. The locations of the Azure Everyone in this room has pure motives. Okay. But what if I don't want the Azure power? Oh, crap. It's more of a case that, you know, we don't want Tangent to have it, uh, so... Well, you lost tangents. her and now she died. I mean, yeah, they go on Tangents, but still... Go on. What? Where am I? You kind of just gave uh, us the mother of all puzzles, so you, <laughs> you called yourself Aurora just now. Is that your name? 
Aurora. Yeah, my name is Billy know. Bob. Well, aren't you a sleeping beauty? Do you remember being trapped in the ice? Funny drama because yeah. original name was Briar Rose. Trapped in ice. Huh. You claim to be the emissary of the Azran. Is it no possible pressure. that you were sent by the Azran people as their messenger? Do I have to kick you messenger? down the hall as well? No. I yes, sir. I'm gonna come to know. violence. This Perhaps is latent! The messenger <laughs> operates only on a subconscious level. Hmm. So, multiple personalities. The Azran have sent us their greatest puzzle yet in the shape of this girl. So no, she's a professor, puzzle we you have to solve. Be the body the parts of Are you sure? Please right. don't. It's not a mental configuration. What could it all mean? Maybe she's a last girl, so it won't hurt. Wait, 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 wait a minute. A girl is mainly a puzzle more than a character. First mystery, first and third mystery, partially solved. The Azrani people use a cryogenic technique to hold the girl in stasis until the day that she would be awoken by a future civilization. As the messenger of the Azran, Aurora is able to interact with Azran ruins and is likely the key to unlocking their secrets. By leaving a living messenger for future generations to find, the Azran ensured that their message would be heard. Yeah, just freeze her in ice, and thankfully she turned out just fine. Funny, because I'll mention it later. An incantation from the mysterious girl lifted the seal on the lake and revealed an Azran ruin hidden beneath the water. This ruin seemingly emits some kind of magnetic force that interferes with passing aircraft, and the airship shit. Go on. The girl's chanting revealed an Azran chamber hidden in Lake Cod. No, wait, wait a minute, I got it! I got it! 2013, a girl's treated more like a puzzle than anything else. She's Clara from Doctor Who! <laughs> I honestly thought you were gonna say she's Sarah from Final Fantasy XIV. Too. I thought you were going to say instead of the girl from Jupiter Ascending. No, 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 2013, not 15. Oh, I, I keep forgetting that it was that year, not 2013. Mm -hmm. So. Also, it's funny because Mass Effect 3 averts deliberately this trope of the frozen messenger, you know, a cryogenically frozen person that's supposed to be a messenger for your civilization, in a sense, but you do find someone cryogenically frozen from a long time ago, but unfortunately it's not a scientist or a messenger or diplomat, it's just a regular grunt that just manages to survive. <laughs> Was it like, you know, Fry from Futurama where they kind of accidentally stumbled upon the cryogenic freezing? It's more complicated freezing. than that, but... Uh... As the girl, I mean, as Briar Rose, I mean, as Aurora said. Yes, they must represent something. Mazarin people yearn for the skies to go ever higher and always further, like the Babylon rogues of ancient. Mm hmm. The most prominent characters in the myths were the great riders of the sea. Yeah, much like. Really, and yeah, like Jova, and yeah, much like uh, the Babylon Rogues, like Jova just said, uh, this is yet another Japanese part of it that is partly inspired by Miyazaki's Castle in the Sky. Castle in the Sky is actually one yes. of the. Castle in the Sky is one of the yes. most influential uh, Japanese works. Asa upon her raven feathered steed, in her hand a black bladed sword, sharpened on the edge of time, and in her heart. Yes, it's just as the ancient Azran scripts foretold! Actually, yes. The courage of the courage entire of kingdom. Hey, I was reading that. That's my line. Don't steal it, Cleb. Very good. You're familiar with Rutledge's ancient histories, then. It is only natural. Shirai, please. She's burned. Oh, there is a story about the riders of the sky on these walls. Do you... Do you want me to read it for you? Sure. Yes, sure, I'd translator. Love, I'd love a bedtime story. Very well. Well, we're not watching bedtime stories by Adam Sandler. Oh, thank God. Um, hey, Jova, Jova, search up CBB's bedtime story. You should have a bedtime story read, read to you by Chris Evans. Interesting. Ah, please do! <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, whoa, well, well, Professor, ca calm, calm down. down. Jesus. <laughs> At the turn of time, the world was one big continent, and the celestial kings sheltered all the lands beneath his ample wings. Pangea. So, the Wizard King? Sure. I mean, like you know, Cody operates with the idea of infinite, both infinite universe. 2013 was both the, re the, the release of this game and the Western release of Ninokuni 1. So, it's all connected. All living things served him. 
There you go. Mm, so like a tyrant. Basically. Oh. Why is it every it's great power for we learn about? Why is it we always learn about crap people? The king had five children, the great riders of the sky, but they were proud and coveted their father's throne, of course. Oh boy, so oh, did one slip what? daddy some poems? That's all that always happens in fairy tales. The constant warring of the riders exhausted the people and tainted the land. Tainted? Yeah, you don't, Professor, you don't want to know what happened to Khalid. Nobody wants to go there anymore. If I was Khalid. <laughs> Roused it at last to anger, the king drew his sword and made four strokes, slicing the land into ten continents. Looks like the Avatar now. <laughs> <laughs> Kiyoshi, huh? She is rough like that. Yes. I met her yesterday. Looks pretty good for someone who's 183. She aged gracefully out of the avatars. His children. He banished them to live on Earth. That's it. You're going to Earth. You're grounded, but, but, literally. But Daddy, you promised I could have the throne. No, I promise no such thing. The king sealed the sacred one. gates to the skies and scattered the five keys on earth that his children might one day find them. Whoever can find these keys, you win. Then you can come back. For now, give me some rest. You've caused confusion and delay. Basically, yeah. Fuck. Ever since that day. Just for that, you're staying an extra millennium. The king's children have gazed up at the skies, longing to fly again one day. Oh my god, I finally have some fun to myself us, up here! Can you give us a Cliff Notes version of this? Yeah, this is pretty much it's, the lore of Castle in the Sky, actually. It's not really complicated, Professor. You're supposed to be a Professor, Professor! Ah, now I see it. The patterns on the wall must represent the Earth. Like, come on, you're a Professor. You should live for these long drawn I out told lectures. you, I'm not really a Professor. I'm an actor playing a Professor. Come on, guys, let's try to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were to gather the five keys and we would gain access. Incredible. I should very much like to solve this puzzle. Because is it that's really what I do. a is it necessarily a puzzle though? It sounds like we well, have see? Oh, oh, it is. Apparently Look, it is. See? You know what? <laughs> uh, see? You're forgetting. Right, Pedro, you read this one. It's been like this since the the first game. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. The walls of the Azran Dome tell the story of the Celestial King and his children, the Riders of the Sky. Enraged by the Riders' constant warring, the King made four strokes with his sword and divided the land into ten continents. Decrypt the story by reenacting it, using four lines to divide the land into ten sections, separating the Riders. Draw lines between the points around the edge, but be careful, you can only use each point once, and no line may touch a Rider. Again, See, Professor, you wanted broad strokes version of the there story, you go, there you go. There you go, Shiroi, that puzzle discussion is basically your recap. Um, I, I love it when level 5 makes puzzles uh, where you you reenact the story, like they did in Inokuni 2 as well. All Do right. you think maybe if Leighton is on public transport and he sees someone with the paper next to him who isn't solving a puzzle, he starts getting upset? Because <laughs> I wanted to solve it, but no, this plebeian next to me can't even solve the simple puzzle of the range of the there colors of the rainbow. I like that this puzzle implies that the king had incredibly precise aim to make sure that the slice didn't hurt his children. Yet, my intuition should serve me. Yeah, whenever I point it out, people keep saying to me, dude, he's fine. A satisfying puzzle indeed. Like Delightfully so divided. The walls of the dome represent a map of the world, and you just created five intersections with your lines. Ever heard of this saying, X marks the spot? Um, uh, maybe someone who was born hasn't. Indeed. That was the Celestial King. There you go. The five keys must lie at the points where the king's mm -hmm. sword strokes meet. Mm -hmm. Sword strokes meet. It's a metaphor. The Celestial King in the story represents the Azran civilization, which means the King's children, who were banished to Earth, are us, the distant heirs to their legacy. So just like fossil fighters were supposedly descended oh boy, from aliens... I can inherit the Earth. Professor, have you noticed the five oval symbols? God, calling someone else Professor makes me shiver. Like this one just here, could they represent the only ways? professor in the world? 
I believe so. They look rather like the artifacts Rutland descriptively referred to as eggs. Just as already gone. The yes. precursor orbs. Scholars have been pondering their function for years, but not one guessed what was the nature of these. Sure. They are aura stones, vessels capable of channeling the power of the Azrim. So materia? Basically. Oh, and Aurora is giving me some era vibes. I don't want Nato with magic powers. Uh, it's too, too much power for a primitive species. Well, give him to Sycamore. Stones. We can probably trust him more. Did seeing the symbol trigger this recollection? Perhaps if we found these Azran relics, it would bring yet more back to you. You may in time fully regain your memory. To help our amnesia plot. We will certainly need your help decrypting this puzzle. That is why Targent wants you to, no doubt. Why are you covering your mouth when you speak? It sounds like you're saying, Oh, I don't talk to It's a, a slight representation of someone, it kind of we can mimic the gesture of adjusting the glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's, there's, there's it's staying somewhere. Unless you want to go and talk to... Anyway, no mystery. Heart. Fifth mystery. The Orestones. The walls of the Azran Dome in Cod indicate the locations of the five shaped Azran artifacts. These eggs apparently form the key that unlocks the legacy of the Azran. But what on earth could this mean in practical terms? It would seem that collecting the five eggs will reveal the true nature of the quote, key to the Azran legacy. That's the title of the, the game. game! Hooray. Alright then. So let's go! Italy. Traveling to each of the locations indicated by the tomb's walls would be quite an undertaking. Also, Mario's from Brooklyn. Mm hmm. He's Italian American. It's appear to be in remote parts of the world. It would be wise to do that. It may also be prudent to ensure that the Bostonius is fully stocked. Naturally. May I suggest our first stop be London? It's a little out of the way. We can gather both supplies and information there. Besides, I want to visit my aunt. Mm. You mean your parents, Excellent Professor? Idea. That will also give us the opportunity to do more extensive repairs on hey, the Boston. I can visit my I aunt think, as well. I, 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 I don't think his parents live in London. Also, are we just leaving the lake like oh, so Ah, but don't you see? Ah, but don't you see, Jova? The clever little uh, Mr. Hino took care of that little contradiction. His parents just happen to be visiting London right now. <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> this is incredible. Are we really going to fly around the world in less than 80 days, Professor? It sounds a bit dangerous, but I'm excited too. Cue the, cue the, Again, cue, Luke has done all this in his childhood. What around the entire world? Cue the world adventure from Sonic Unleashed. Aurora, I must tell you, your people are gone. This world is no longer the one he wants. Yes, Esmor. Oh, 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 he's going. He's, he's going somewhere with this. Go on. You owe us nothing, but we need your help to solve the puzzle of the Azran. Would you please accompany us on this journey? By the way, your parents are dead. Are you? Everyone you love was dead. In return, we will try to help you regain your memory, if that is what you wish. And then it turns out she was actually a super villain that they sealed away because she's way too powerful. Isn't that the plot of Mega Man Legends Jova. Two or something? <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually. Go on, Sharon. Um, Alright, I... I accept. I will go with you. Although the difference is that Sarah is pretty much a villain from the get-go as opposed to having amnesia. Mm -hmm. Yes, Aurora. We're your parents now. I'm your dad, Luke is your little brother, and Emmy is your aunt. Well, I guess that works, why not? Um... The aunt? Sure. Um... As for, no, as for the, the other cool aunt. And as for the other professor, um, he could be that uncle who pops around to your house sometimes. Sure. Well, we Maybe I should be the cool part, father. Though. See you for the next part, everybody, where we start preparing ourselves for our journey. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Yeah.